Hey, what's going on, folk? What uh, up, what up? ITC Podcast in this mug, episode 27. We're back in this thing. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Doug Not Ross, gang, gang. Marcus, and Ben Speaks, actually, and Mally. Mal. Oh, my That's how I did, did I do it right? Yeah, you did, did it I go, right. Did I go to the right side? With, with the shoulder. A little, you got a little more sharper. You got it. Put a little ball. You don't have to make the shoulder space. I know. <laughs> I know. The angle was a little off. Do it, do it, help us, do it. Help us, <laughs> help me, help us, please. I need a sister. Mally Mal. Wow, uh, look at her. She be practicing. <laughs> she wake up in the morning, man. She cheek on the shoulder, my shit. She listening to Thriller, Mama. But now, nah, um, <laughs> man, we got a lot, a lot to talk about. Dog, he's stupid. <laughs> I ain't know nobody was gonna catch that. Look, she went. <laughs> Go on, do it. Doom, 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 we do want to um, bring up the incident where Miss Dinkelberg, I'm just kidding, <coughs> her real name, but uh, as Alicia called her, Machine Gun Kelly, the <laughs> young lady who pulled the gun out oh, on the African American ladies that apparently were turning up um, coming out of a store. Um, mm-hmm. They said mm-hmm. that she bumped her. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what I was hearing in the video. And it's funny because I seen the first snippet, and the first snippet was just showing her. Pulling the gun out her until I seen the full video. So um, mm-hmm. I want to get you guys' opinion of what y'all feel like. Uh, was Machine Gun Kelly wrong? Machine Gun okay. Kelly. Y'all, y'all got to chill, bro. Pop out of <laughs> the party? Y'all got to chill, bro. Cadet. No, not Cadet Kelly. Like, <gasps> maggot. Wow, y'all got to <laughs> chill, bro. This is... <sighs> This is what it's not part of the problem. Y'all part of the problem, not the solution. Hey, we, hey, we, no, we, 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 we just we talking about it, so that's a part okay. of the solution. You feel me? No, we trying to see what's up. Calling her cadet Kelly. <laughs> is we part? Is we part? Wow. I know that's what I'm trying to figure out, Ross. You part or not? Take your hat off, man. You hey, the man. Squad. Oh, we got we got to get to the nitty gritty. Come on, they need to see. I'm trying to yeah. see. Is yeah, there? Uh, how do you say? Can, is there a win or when you pull your weapon out and you feel threatened by somebody? Like, was uh, it necessary? I was think it necessary? Was. I don't think it was necessary. But did she have a right to do it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Because from the video, I'm like, bro, if they were black and they were doing that to me and I felt like, you know, threatened. And maybe it was because of the light of what's going on, like how heavy everything is. Maybe they thought, mm-hmm. maybe she thought she was going to get jumped. Mm-hmm. I don't know, cause they were they were pretty a little yeah. heated, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, when you when you when you see the full video, you see how much shit took place before she pulled that gun. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You, you right. bumped into her. You're being rude. She apologized at least three, four, if not more times, and right. said, "I didn't mean to. I don't want no confrontation." Mm-hmm. And they kept egging it on. So I can see at some point how she got threatened. And didn't she actually? They actually got into their own vehicle and they was about to leave. And then something happened where they, the people that was recording them, they ended up, as they're backing up, they were like kind of harassing them still in the vehicle. And I think that's kind of. Yeah, how I, don't, I don't know if they tried to block her in or what. Yeah, I think they, that's they did something where they couldn't get out. Yeah. yeah they like walk it, behind it or something. Yeah. And, it, and it's one of those things where it's like you're asking for something to happen, especially if somebody walks away, they're leaving the situation alone and then you keep egging it on. It's like you asking for something to happen. Clearly you want something negative or you want some type of feedback to feed the narrative that I don't like, you know what I'm saying? I I don't like when the narrative starts switching up to take advantage of what's going on right now in the current state that the country's in and you know anything can be taken out of proportion so when they originally the video showed up 
for someone that's not paying attention and don't do the extra research to figure out what's going on, it looks like someone just yeah. pulled out a gun on some racist type stuff on a, a black individual and their family. Right. When you start getting the context behind it, then it's like, yo, what's what's going on? There's more to it. It it, it, it kind of gives that feel of taking advantage of racial issues that's really high in tension right now. I don't like that. I think that's it's yeah. kind of it's kind of scummy. You know what I'm saying? And nice. it sucks because they ended up, I believe, getting charged. I believe they mm-hmm. got charged and fined. I don't know if she got off. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure she's going to get a good lawyer, whatever the case may be. But in this particular situation, I feel like she had every right to do what she did. She could have, and I'm, I'm going to the extreme of she could have pulled the trigger, but you can tell she has formal, Mm -hmm. um, she has formal training. You can tell because nobody, anybody who is just, an amateur at holding a gun, they're first of all, they're going to hold a pistol grip wrong and they're going to put their hand exactly on a trigger just like this. Yeah. And they're going to be holding it like that. And that's how accidents happen. She had her hand straight off the trigger. You know, she has formal training when somebody does that or she knows someone that or she was taught basically. Yeah. So she knew what she was doing. <laughs> if she wanted to escalate the situation, she could, but she didn't. So I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty. I'm, or that, but I, I'm for one. I'm all in agreement to what she did. Yeah. Um, those girls were absolutely wrong. Like, yeah. I don't care what color you are, you wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, I just yes. feel like um, it, it's things could have been. The emotions are high right now. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like there, there's things that could have been done different on both sides, but you can't really tell nobody how to react. That's that's yeah. my big thing. You can't judge somebody on how they react to something so you walked in out and it was funny because the people the the black ladies kept calling her racist and racist and talking about everything that's going on and the lady was like i'm i feel sorry for you but i'm not racist i love you all and i was i was just like oh shit you know what i'm saying like because that's a piece of the video that we didn't see Mm -hmm. originally so i was just like damn she was scared she was scared and i'm I'm just, that's what she was. She was just scared. And people escalate situations that yeah. I feel like they could have de-escalated. They could have just let it go. <laughs> she bumped you. She apologized. Let that shit go. There's no point to following people to their car. <clears throat> you know, you telling somebody over and over and over, you sorry. After a while, you just like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't tell yeah. you. My bad. Now y'all feel like, I feel like you surrounded me now. But um, yeah. I personally feel like she... Even though she had the right to pull out the gun, I feel like I wouldn't have in that situation. Somebody could have got shot for something as simple as getting bumped. But um, again, you can't tell anybody how to react. We just got to learn how to stop being hotheads and like, stop letting things get us to a point of mm-hmm. taking it there. <clears throat> like yeah, People just true. need to learn how to stop <clears throat> taking shit there. Just let shit go. It ain't even that serious. Facts. Um, she apologized. She was saying not that her words could be fake, but if somebody's saying, you know, I love you guys, I'm sorry what y'all are going through. Leave it alone. Like, just let right. that go. People take, need to take let it for what it go. is. Yeah, and you want to mm-hmm. create this narrative like, oh, they're racist because they bumped into me. I mean, no. I'm just going to be honest, not everybody is racist. You know, not every situation. <laughs> it's bigger situations we got going on right now than, you know, to focus on. Dick Kelly and the Ratchet. Yeah, Machine Gun so. Kelly. <laughs> Just wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just want to be a Philippine because I mean I know people that are just like, nah, nah, she shouldn't have pulled the trigger anyway because somebody could have died and uh, I just feel like she's wrong and maybe she was racist and it isn't that. I'm like, bro, we gotta just stop thinking everything is racism. Like it's black mm-hmm. people. We gotta like there is racism. Like we, we see what racism is and mm-hmm. how the situation is that. So we gotta learn no. to separate. Like sometimes people just ignorant. What we gotta do separate i love you talking about me and you i'm getting there um wow them, them youtube uh vocal training oh yeah yeah niggas been practicing yeah yeah no nah, facts <laughs> i'm being this much i'm trying to buy, buy my album <laughs> it's real long, it's long time. At the top. but now nah, uh, we gotta learn how to separate like these situations and stop trying to make a narrative of everything social media already gonna run with shit Mm-hmm. You see what they did? I mean, they put a small clip of her pulling yeah. the gun out, and everybody went ballistic. I'm and I'm one yeah. of them. Not I'm that. like, yo, that's what's wrong with this country now. And then mm-hmm. next thing you know, like a 
two more minutes of the video pops up. I'm like, ooh. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, I returned my statement. <laughs> no, it's time Let me delete that post. And that's when I was like, yo, I don't blame her. Yeah, and man. it didn't really hurt me to say that because, like I said, what's wrong is wrong. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it just is what it is. Yeah. I don't yeah. have no problem with correcting my own people of my own color. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Like we need oh, to. Cool. Oh, yeah. I feel it's like definitely not. A, it's not enough of that. We need to correct ourselves. Like we yeah. know what we got going on. Let's keep fighting the fight. As we're fighting the fight, we need to be correcting our own steps, um, making our own plans, mm -hmm. how to move forward. Um, I was talking to Ross about this um, <clears throat> after the whole George Floyd situation. You know, they was uh, painting the streets. You know, Black Lives Matter. They were putting on Apple Music. Let's all listen to a playlist today. Um, you get on the game, Black Lives Matter. I'm like, all that looks cool. It looks really good, but mm -hmm. what is it doing? Like, it, it's not. Like, we didn't even ask you for that. We just asked you to arrest the people. Bro, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Y'all over here <laughs> making chicken black. Like, making I ain't asking black and chicken. <laughs> and making like, us I ain't like, that? and niggas is really yeah. like, oh, bro. They care. Do you see the corporations? Do you see the? And it's just like, bro, they just trying to secure doing their everything. dollar. They want to right. secure it's, their dollar, bro. Like, hey, just know, yeah, hey, we support niggas, you, niggas. Y'all niggas make us money. Y'all matter, niggas. <laughs> it's all marketing moves. That's it. Y'all yeah. matter, shit. I see one company do it, and literally from there it just snowball. Like everybody was doing it. it was then I'm doing trend. research. I'm like, wait a minute. 10 years ago, y'all didn't even have products to service black people. And now y'all are just, mm, this is our fight too. It's like, nah, you make we money off us. We you niggas. <laughs> you make money off us. And if we were to stop, then. Yeah, they know, uh, what, they know what's going to happen. That's why they try to let us know. They secure their dollar. Hey, hey, like, hey, hey, hey. Like, uh, don't think like them. I don't know if y'all saw that clip of Boosie. He was in the mall. And there was a long line of people waiting for at the Gucci store. He was like, bro, y'all some idiots. Y'all some dumb that, yeah. as idiots. Gucci don't give yeah. a damn about y'all niggas. And y'all over here sitting up in a line trying to buy some shit. Gucci don't give a goddamn about you niggas. <clears throat> and to keep it a buck. No, nah, that's fact. Really don't care, bro. <laughs> like them high-end fashion companies, they don't give a damn, bro. And I was not just even just talking about that, fashion bro. companies. A lot of the Fortune 500 companies, do you think they care? Not really. <laughs> it's no, I mean, they care all... about their business being afloat. And yeah, that's, right. that's, it's all that about the dollar that bill. Decent... Mm -hmm. That's, all that's, what, that's what makes me kind of question sports. Like, I ain't heard not one owner say, oh, um, uh, we see what's going on. And, uh, like, it just, it just shows you. Niggas really don't give a damn. But we keep well, on. Well, there was one. Mark Cuban. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's the only one. My yeah. bad. Think. My nigga Mark. We'll that, that, my nigga Mark. The only one. Mark is an honorary nigga. No, my Mark nigga can't. Mark. Yeah. I ain't even count him. I'm so sorry. My nigga be wearing jeans <laughs> on the on the floor. Like on the floor. Mike mm -hmm. Mark Mark is that nigga, nah. bro. Like he jeans and a Maverick shirt. He speak mm -hmm. up about how he feel, but he's and like I'm not saying one. all of them are racist, but it's mm -hmm. just like you see that your franchise is full of minorities and black people, mm -hmm. like. You would think you would have to say something. It's the bottom dollar publicly. Bro. Yeah, because at least a lot, of those, a lot of those owners know what's gonna happen to their reputation if they do speak out. Because yeah, you have exactly. some who who genuinely care and they side with us on most things, but they know, oh shit, if I say something, now they go collude against me and they go vote me out next year. Yeah, yeah, and that's so, bottom dollar. I was low key thinking, <clears throat> shit, we need to start our own league. You know, that's just me thinking super far ahead. But I'm just, what I be coming at with things is like, bro, we just need to start creating our own shit because mm -hmm. all this protesting is cool. But if you're not coming up with a plan of action, the shit really going to keep going. Like, we, they just going right, to keep right. saying, okay, cool. And you see now, I was telling Ross earlier, like, everything going back, to, it'll never be back to normal, but things are kind of dying down. I mean, the pressure mm -hmm. is a little off. Like, once mm -hmm. after the George Floyd situation, I'm talking about we was on it. Like, niggas was mm -hmm. not playing this. Niggas was committed to buying black, and it was just, it seemed pretty consistent. Now things mm -hmm. kind of like, you know, it's easing, and it's like doing the same thing. It's like repeating itself. And I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. you you attack them with their, at their pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like, you attack them at the pocket because we make things popular. You know what I'm saying? We get certain clothes. We make that shit popular. Mm -hmm. Just like you were saying about Gucci. 
we stop uh, buying Gucci, we stop promoting it and making that shit seem like it's the God Almighty of clothing. Because it's not, man. It's, it's really Christ. not, bro. Like, and even the not, um, shoes and... What's them shoes? Boats. Bro? Yeah. Bro. Goddamn boats, man. Fucking sailboats on their feet. I'm talking about like, these big-ass Balenciagas. Like, and I'm like, bro, these hoes here look so garbage. But niggas is like, yeah, check out my feet. I'm right. like, it's literally a brand, bro. And that's all you're repping is the brand because them hoes are trash. They are. Hey, bro. Like, yeah, I'm not paying $600 for some boats. Shoes are no, 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 harder no. than that. <laughs> But yes. you know what? It's funny because people that don't have the money always trying to look like they got the money. Money, and that's our problem because some of the richest people that's conservative with their money probably you wouldn't think they were rich. Payless in Walmart because they like yeah, shit. you wouldn't think this shit is just comfortable. I got these because they comfortable. I ain't getting these because of the swoosh and shit. And all like, I wore these yesterday. Right, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga I'm, yeah, bro. I'm comfortable. Yeah. But y'all yeah, buying man. them big ass Balenciagas, the one that look like socks and shit, and it's and, like, and, man. and it goes back to us teaching ourselves financial like wealth. You know what I'm saying? We don't we don't really teach that. I mean, I see it now with my friends, you know, teaching their children oh, financial yeah. wealth. But that should be a focus, definitely in the black community in the household to you know make sure your children understand. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's important saving up your money. It's important making sure you don't waste your money on just unnecessary things. Yeah, you can buy some nice stuff if you want to, but I don't mm-hmm. think they, you know, I don't think it's being like it's broadcast as much because of what you see. You know what I'm saying? If you see the rappers and the latest Gucci and Balenciagas, you know what I'm saying? The kids going to want that. And then mm-hmm. if you got the parents that's just quick to, here you go. It's the mindset of, oh, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to keep buying this unnecessary stuff to look the part instead of trying to build up that mentality of, let me either save up some money to start up something for myself or just be able to, you know, be financially good in any situation that comes my way. And I think if we started really focusing more on that than rather just these name brands or these expensive ass brands, it will help in the long run. And I, you know, you see it. I see it a lot of times and I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I've seen kids with Balenciagas. I'm like, damn, bro, your parents is doing you right. And that's cool. That's fine. But at the same time, it's like, that's it. You know what I'm saying? This is all right. Cool. It's cool to spend $600 on some shoes just to look like you got extra money that you don't have. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Living on $600 shoes, living in the Jets. I'm like, it, it, it don't I'm match up to, I, right i mean if you're gonna get them okay cool i mean i don't it's not that i have a problem mm-hmm. with parents buying their kids expensive stuff stuff yeah I, I mean okay if you got it like that you got it like that but you don't got it like that living in the jets mm-hmm. like you don't like you just don't like every mm-hmm. single pair of jays that come out your kids is the freshest one, the sweet feet, y'all. They all, all six I of them a, got sweet feet. And then you I, like, hold on. I'm mad that you said all six. I have a, I have a story okay, about that. Okay, let me, I'll, I'll, okay, I ain't gonna, let me, hold on, hold on. Am I the only one that be curious about how they be doing that? What? Like these ladies that be having like six kids and they all, <laughs> all of them be having the newest J's. They be like, God damn. Well, they cheap though. The J's for like the little kids be like $40, yeah. $50. It don't matter though. Like when you got six kids and then you got the pair too. I mean, child support is a thing. <laughs> but most niggas ain't. You, you know. see, I want to say you. Niggas don't income pay. tax season. <laughs> Yo, unemployment that's checks. That's a thing. <laughs> that's shit real. That's shit real. I just that's think one thing that intrigued me. Do like, hmm, yeah, of course. We got We have to do better with our finances. And I'm speaking mm-hmm. for the black because I'm black. I'm, I've never been white a day in my life. So I can't speak. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I can't speak on what other races do. I mean, I know what they do, but I ain't mm-hmm. speaking about that. I'm talking about like the black community really needs to do better and be fi- financial literate. Like financial mm-hmm. literacy is lacking in the black community. And mm-hmm. it's solely because of keeping up with the Joneses. Like, mm-hmm. Thanks. you know, we want to be a part of something so bad instead of just being content with ourselves, like being who you are within yourself. Like, mm-hmm. I know that sounds like so Amen. Lauren Hill, like, oh, Lauren, it, it ain't even about, it ain't even about that. It's about 
until you get content with yourself and you are content with your abilities and what you're capable of of doing without the materialistic aspect of it you'll never be happy all you're gonna chase is the material part of life Mm -hmm. and when you don't have it you're gonna feel empty so facts I just feel like we need to do better with our finances. We need to do better at um, at saving. We need to do better at not having money burn a hole in our pocket. Like when you have a couple of thou hanging around, you ain't got to go to the Galleria. You no, do, do not have to go. Like save it. Stack it up. It seems <laughs> like when we get money, like, well, you YOLO. I'm like, what, is right. you, what you mean, YOLO? I mean, yeah, you just, you lived once last week. Like, <laughs> And you bought them chains. You got you gonna live again? Like you gotta live once you, again. This you month? lived once last week. <laughs> like, like put that shit up because mm-hmm. you never know when your car gonna start sneezing and shit. Right. Well, you never know no. when someone when y'all have it. You never know when someone break into your shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not kind of oh, I steal all your, I steal that. all your toll road money. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that. Nah, that's never funny. know, man. Never know, man. Got but it. it's just it's sad. It's sad to see and. I always told myself, I mean, I grew up and I grew up in the jazz, but one thing my mama always taught me was that the materialistic stuff does not make you, it doesn't make or break you. Like there are people who are dressed Gucci head to toe right now Factly. in the hood. <laughs> and that's all that they have to say. Like, oh, at least I'm drippy. It's like Niggas right, been conditioned. <laughs> yeah, like yes. niggas been conditioned to think having certain things and items make you better or put you in a position better than what you're actually in. And I just feel mm-hmm. like um, it starts with the youth. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> it really ain't no talking to a lot of people right now. Niggas, certain once yeah. niggas get a mentality, some niggas is hard to change until they get into a life changing event usually changes a person. So it usually sometimes a grown up. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, but it usually takes a grown up, a life changing event. Uh, something happening like really detrimental for them to, you know what I'm saying? But most of the time it's like, you got to try to save the kids. And that's why I never um, teach my kids to feel like a material thing is going to make me better than someone else. Like that's, that's one thing I hope to never hear from my children is like, Oh, I have mm-hmm. this, you know what I'm saying? Like, Ooh, I yeah. don't, cause I don't move like that personally. Like whatever I have, I'm like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like this shit can be gone tomorrow. You know, I don't really hold value in um things. And yeah, that is because of home uh upbringing. You know, not really having mm-hmm. room um so much in my life when I was young. I used to sleep everywhere. And you know, I just have this humble thing, like, man, like it's it's whatever with the things because you can be rich as hell and miserable, and those people be crazy. Oh. They commit suicide when yeah. any little thing go on and People don't realize, like, bro, you peak. A lot of niggas not even happy. And it's like stuff never ends. Like, it's always a new car, a new Bugatti. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a it's a new cell phone every year. You know, Facts. Like, it's, it's it's always going. So it's like it kind of makes you crazy. Like, damn, bro, this shit really never stops. And it's like I, I hate to use this comparison, but I always say it's like playing Grand Theft Auto. While you're playing Grand Theft Auto, the game is most enjoyable because you're struggling to get to the end of the game and to finish it, to get the most money. Usually when you get all the money that you can, you just start doing dumb shit. You know, mm-hmm. you start putting dumb yeah. shit on cars, start stealing certain cars and putting different rims on it. It's just doing dumb shit. And you just start getting a bunch of stars all the time and killing police, you know, not that we, you know. <laughs> but it's just, it's just the idea is like, once you have everything, it's like there's nothing else for you anymore to like obtain if you don't just have like that internal happiness with yourself. Because the world never stops creating the next craze or the next thing. So it's yep. like a never ending tunnel. And if you're not just happy just with life in general, you'll end up being going crazy. And you be wondering why certain people be committing suicide. You're like, ah, this nigga had, and that's the first thing we say. We <laughs> like this nigga, if I was rich, I'd be mm-hmm. it's like, bro, that shit sound good. But when you got more right. money than you can spend, that shit you can do something to you. If you don't have yeah. control of your sanity, that'll that'll fuck with you. It's it's some shit. Um, Speaking of more money that you can spend, did y'all hear about Patrick Mahomes' new contract? Ooh, first of all, first first of all, oh, I thought you, I thought you was about to go to real money. Bruh. I thought you was about to go to the uh, Amazon, uh, Jeff Bezos. 
incentive oh, yeah. worth total worth 503 million guaranteed 63 million on signing 141 million if he in, guaranteed if he get injured that's off rip where did i get 450 million from who made that that's what initially that's the, came out yeah that's what initially that's came the out. first that's, number that came out the total oh there's a like, different one yeah it's 503 million that was five, he's he's his contract is half a bill yeah, half a he, this, for ten that, years. That money is money that he's guaranteed in case he don't play the whole contract. Sixty three. There's a certain amount is. that he gets, mm-hmm. like, guaranteed. Like we got to pay this regardless of what happens. Mm-hmm. Type of situation. But yeah, um, sixty three on signing. As soon as he signed, sixty three, one hundred forty one. If he he's guaranteed if he gets injured at any point. Right. So they, I mean, they, it's still. I think I think Kansas City money. set themselves up with that one because mm-hmm. the way football contracts are structured. Let's say this man don't get another Super Bowl in like the first four or five years of that contract. Say, nigga, now it's time to come sit down. We finna try to restructure this shit. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they still gave him so much in guaranteed money. Yeah, he in five it. years. Who and if he doesn't win a Super Bowl in five years and they want to move on, who the fuck gonna pick up that contract? Nobody. That shit is that's like <laughs> that shit ridiculous. Look how much we gave old dumbass Brock Oswald. We were lucky enough to get rid of that mm-hmm. shit. Seventy four. It was like seventy four million. And you know what? Said. That that was one of the dumbest. Just gave that nigga seventy four mil. Have mercy. I'm not seventy four mil. It was a, they they gave they got rid of him in a clutch way though. Yeah, they did. Uh, but they no had pun to, intended. They had to finesse a, a clutch way. I'm sure they didn't have yeah. it in mind. No, they of didn't. Course. No, not not so, signing. They didn't. Fuck no. Um, <laughs> that's that's a lot of money, bro. But let's talk about lie. how um oh boy. Ooh. Jeff Bezos, did he break the uh, world record for being? I um, think he did. Or is it the country, the U.S.? Let me look at it. Um, Let's talk about how he then came up, got divorced. She he thought she had me. In. She thought she, she got had Nigga, watch, watch she what I do. automatically became the ri- one of the richest women in the world just by divorce. That's then insane. Corona happened. Boys bounced back with what four to five times more. Then that's what? Like, he was that's like the clutchest shit I've ever seen. That, no that, you me. thought you had me. You thought you took all right. my shit. Thought I was about to struggle. <laughs> oh, I, I got some with my sleeves. Take your half. Take your half. Take it. Don't even worry that's about That's a lot of money, bro. Let's do let's let's part am, amicably. Don't even worry right, about right. it. It's okay. Right. Don't even worry about it. So it said um that's a hundred and hundred and seventy two billion. Oh, Jesus. Work. Broke his okay. own broke his own record for the world's wealthiest person. That's just that's I am... you no, didn't say got... billion, you said billion, right? Just a uh, couple yes. beads. Oh, okay. well, no, he beads. got he gotta go to bed like beads feeling proud every breaking. night. Like nigga, like but that's what I'm he's saying. In money. The homie asked me earlier, what would you do with that? I said, bro, I probably wouldn't even want all that money. Like that's just no, I don't even want it. <laughs> That's bro, you don't. You don't. Money, more problems. The like, life of a legend. <laughs> we don't even realize how much shit come with that, because uh-huh. it be all these little secret little things, and that's when all these little. You gotta pay us for making this much. What? Yeah, just like uh, what you mean? Said, who said that was you're a one razor. percenter? You're a one percenter. So if you want to be saved when the world ends, <laughs> right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when you start you finding shit out. <laughs> no, I don't, nigga. I'm going back to the hood where niggas know I'm me. I'm going at. back to they say young soul ain't from the hood. I'm going back to say. But now like that's a lot of money, man. I couldn't I could never want all that money knowing that there's children starving in unless you use countries. that money. No, I'm good. saying like just you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, come on, man, we could spread that money out. Me, I would personally do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I wouldn't. And hold then on. you will be on a "Remember Me" T-shirt, cause yeah, they, you're, they they the, yeah, they not about would, to have that target. Uh, I think uh, I would. <laughs> you know, on the cool, what would I do? I would, I would give me a little army. Like I would give me an army. <laughs> like for real. Like y'all niggas think I'm bullshitting. I'm gonna have a SEAL team. You gonna pay some niggas team. off? SEAL Team Seven. You gonna? I can see. <laughs> I can see Doug coming up. I need your services. I'm with you. <laughs> nah, nah, it ain't gonna be like that. I'm gonna send a little. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send a little video that's gonna self destruct after ten seconds. After. I... But you know what? I I can't even knock that because you got so much right. money. I believe you can do it. Nigga, I and there's people who join. You can you yes. can make them nigga salaries. They'll be like, oh yeah, I'm going. Yeah, 
Tell that nigga I'm gonna give you a hundred a hundred thousand. I ain't never coming get, back. Bro, like nigga, I have Take an army. Easy. And then I go save the world. <laughs> and vlog it. Man. <laughs> oh You're my gonna, god. Okay. Right. So I could be live, so nigga can see it. In the ear. So foul play, you can oh, see the shit. Somebody gonna take care of you. You gonna be trying to the save ear, the world. You the top on, one percent, bro. bro. Boys is gonna, gonna find a way. You notice we don't even know who the one percenters really are. You know why? Because they don't want us to know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> like you, the more the more research you do into them, the more you find out about them. Matter of fact, they don't. They you can't even find them on Google. I'm laughing because. Mean. I'm thinking of the shit I would do. Like, I would have food testers. Like, you wouldn't be able to just eat nothing off That's the... That's what the president do. Somebody you have to. You have to, because so you... Y'all see what you, I'm talking about? I'm surviving, nigga. I'm going to have my army. But what if yeah, one yeah. somebody go rogue, bro? The Illuminati sees all. They going to be like... Oh, I, got, be like I, got, I, got, I, got, I got a plan for them rogue niggas. <laughs> <laughs> got something for your ass. Oh, yeah. He got a backup plan for the backup plan. We're going to have a K, <laughs> bro. When you that rich, you got to have <laughs> contingency plans all the way to Z. And all, the way to, all, all the way to AA. But yeah. we starting A. over. Yeah, you got to. I'm a, I'm a have all a the P- way to AZ. I'm going to have a PI. I'm going to have a PI. A pu- oh, okay, okay. A, pun- okay. A, pun- a punishment island. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to have I an island. I thought he was going to say private event. <laughs> <laughs> right. This nigga say a punishment <laughs> island. Some yeah. nigga, I'm going right. to have a whole island. <laughs> like, Dedicated nobody- to niggas that you don't trust. <laughs> nobody can hear you. You know them niggas can't swim back. Who you gonna tell? Who you gonna tell? Can't nobody, nobody hear you. Nobody can hear you, fam. Right? You can't no, do this to me, dog. You want to. I will find a way to get you. Push him off the plane. Push him off the plane. My Push accent gonna change. Pass away. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start talking Russian. What is the reason? He's going to ask you. He's going to ask you. Get him off here. Ooh, I'm coming up with more ideas. Hold on. So we got oh, um, Joe calling. You got to have some Russians on your team. Nah, for on the cool, they got vodka oh, too. <laughs> they, they were the first. They were the first to go to the moon with Sputnik. Now we'll break him. Yeah. We'll break him. Some of them Russian KGBs. He say we'll yeah. break him. We'll break him. <laughs> I will break your chop. Don't win the times. Don't win the goddamn times. Just break him. Oh, you know the hardest niggas from everywhere, bro. My shit gonna be in there. In the race was real. Big six six. Yoke you gonna need some Ara- Arabian too. Oh no! Nah. Oh, I'm dead. Arabian now. That's yeah. Arabian. I got Arabian day. Well, I got some virgins. <laughs> <for you. laughs> well, I got some virgins for you. <laughs> you got some seventy-two oh! virgins just waiting on, on the cool. They'll probably will have. No, nah, you don't even. Virgins. You don't even got You don't even got to die for it. You don't. Wow. I got the money. They why right wait? Here. Why wait for paradise when you get paradise here? What up, Joe? <laughs> what up? What up? What up? What's going down? Boys going to hair out and whatnot. Got Joel. Yeah, you know. Fuck that. It's summer. It's summertime. It's time to cut that shit. Yeah, I just cut my shit. Oh, you I, cut, I, cut your I, shit? I, I cut. It's hot. Who? It's 90, it was ninety nine degrees outside. He said it was ninety nine degrees. Damn, you did cut that shit. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, just told you it was ninety nine degrees outside. Yeah, bro. That shit. That's just, after a while, bro. You just be like, fuck it. Yeah. Bro, you just yeah. gotta say. I got that good old wild hair. I sat down that chair. <laughs> <laughs> so you cut man, it? I don't know, man. I gotta, I gotta keep my shit rolling. Did you cut it? Oh fuck oh. no! Oh, I tried no. that shit once in 2012. Never again. The fact that you remember the exact year. <laughs> yeah, because I, I quarantined for two weeks. It was March 12th. <laughs> no, oh, it was, um, it, was, it was actually in January. Thank you. Damn. How close? The beginning of the year. <laughs> after yes. New Year's. I quarantined. I didn't come out. We was talking about how rich uh, Jeff Bezos is and what you would do with $170 billion. Just, just, um, that's too much. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, oh, he, I, I got to hear this. He, he broke his new world record of uh, richest, uh-huh. uh, world's wealthiest person. So he is now $172 billion. Bro. That's, that's his net money. worth. I wonder what his gross. <laughs> gross. It's probably you know, we old, we're talking about gross. What is your, what is your, your, what is after taxes? Oh, it's, it's, it's still in the billions. <laughs> 300, 300 billion. it's, it's still in the billions. Because they take Don't more than more I'm you make. Rich. I'm still rich, my nigga. It's a lot of zeros. You got to count them all. Look, actually, I don't pay yeah. taxes. Yeah, I'm above taxes, <laughs> my nigga. I'm above that. Hey, I delivered uh, to the White House, my nigga. Like, hey, what you mean? Hey, 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 Warren, what, when, when that article you reading came out? 
six days ago. Yeah. Oh, I just I just pulled up one from six hours ago. He surpassed one eighty. Dog. Uh, all right, man, we in the wrong field, bro. We are, bro. <laughs> uh, that was episode 27. I'm about to go out here and start delivering packages. No, I think... Um, I think on Amazon. Something. I think there's something right. about it. He was going to... Uh, I think by the year 2023, he should reach a trillion. That's read. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's not far off because this with this corona stuff going on, Why everybody... Would that, yeah, that, that, that helped it go right. quicker, yeah. Yeah, everybody. Niggas, that, niggas at home bored and they buying shit. Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm, I'm one of them. Just, I got Bezos every day. It's just taking shower yeah. with hundred dollar bills. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I think I think say I smell money. I smell like broken here. I he can money. actually do <laughs> <loop it. laughs> like broke. The scent. I can't. I can't deal with the aroma. It smell like broke nigga. He can actually smell. Like- sm- Fill a, a swimming pool with just nothing but hundred dollar bills. And just it smells in. like less than a hundred million in here, <laughs> <laughs> bro. The fact that you can like- call someone broke with a hundred million—that's sad, bro. Right. Did you see, um, Chris Chris Rock had that old special. Um, I forgot the name of it, but he was talking about rich, rich versus wealthy. Mm-hmm. He yeah, was like, Shaq yeah. is rich, but the nigga who signs Shaq's checks is wealthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> like, yeah. And then, and then he say, uh, what do he say, Warren? He say, if uh, uh, if uh, what's uh, Oprah if, uh, if Bill Gates got Oprah Bill Winfrey Gates money, money off of it, he, he said he can say he'll jump out of the ten floor and slit yeah. his throat all the way down <laughs> and slit his throat. <laughs> oh, cool, man. That's yo. That's that's yeah. ridiculous, bro. It's only been a couple hours, and this nigga got a yeah. couple more bills, a couple right. more bees. It's been a few and days. It, 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 it's crazy to watch the jump in money of what we were just talking about. Like we started with Pat Mahomes and five hundred million, and this nigga worth one eighty billion. Like that shit just unreal. I yeah. Oh, okay. So so I just so want to be I, worth one hundred eighty thousand. That's it. <laughs> like, so you give me hundred thousand. Know me and my grandkids, grandkids gonna be good. You give me. Hey man. I promise. You. Hey man. I promise you. I'm about, to cartwheel, I'm about to cartwheel the fuck out that money. Flip, 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 flip. There you go. Because that's too much fit. good I can do with it. <laughs> that so y'all happy with my homes getting, getting, uh, getting, getting his bread? I don't to care. To an extent. Man. I'm happy to an extent. <laughs> Being yeah. a, a, football, a football fan, I'm happy to an extent. I'm, I'm, it, now, it gives niggas, it gives trash ass niggas more leeway to ask for more money, i.e. Dak Prescott. No, 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 really. I mean, yeah. you gotta you gotta deliver the goods to to get that much money. And Mahomes has shown that he can deliver the goods, man. And exactly, but you 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 seen owners fuck up before though. Like they get mm-hmm. Nick Foles got all that money. I Ooh. brought up earlier Nick Foles. No, he did get. I, I brought up how we gave Oswald all that money. I was like, the fuck hey, question is, I wonder how they gonna um, treat Deshaun Watson though. They gotta uh, do Deshaun they, right. They probably gonna give him five five years for probably. I would say it, it got between forty and forty-five. He knows, yeah. He knows his check coming though. He know it. Yeah, he know. Yeah, yeah it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's coming. Especially yeah. with the D Hop contract going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's got. He's probably gonna get five years, and probably like Marcus said, between forty and forty-five million. I would say. Hold on, bro. Let me let me. That be guaranteed that. or like his overall? <clears throat> that probably be overall. It depends. Yeah. And they'll Did put. Oh, you think that's there. overall? Yeah, because they'll they'll throw incentives. Like, I think that Mahomes, the Holmes contract has some incentives in there also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. But that that's why a lot of these niggas ain't got no contracts yet because everybody knew Mahomes was gonna get his first, and they wanted to see what that number was gonna look like. Mm-hmm. Ten years, five hundred bill, five hundred mil sounds good. But like we said right before you got, like I said right before you got on, it it still depends on what he do. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I had brought up, I say, if at year five and he hasn't won at least one more, it's going to be time to sit down and restructure that deal. Right. Can they restructure? Yeah. He's still I mean, very young. About that, but can they restructure something that they already like? They they can, but they still have to be at agreements with it. You know, yeah, contracts the day, always be Once he signed that contract last week, that's his contract. And if he mm-hmm. wants, if they say, hey, let's come in and talk about it. 
either he can or he say, fuck y'all, I'm going to stick with y'all game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it works um, the same way, like when that whole Megan the, the Stallion situation was going on. Contracts can right. always be reconstructed. Always. Mm -hmm. What happened to Scotty yep. Pippen? <laughs> Oh man! Uh, Wait, the hey, thing about him is that, that was shit. a different era too. Cause right. yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Cause I mean, y'all talking about it could be restructured, but I, but, I mean, I watched the whole thing. I was like, yo, that was a different era of back, basketball. That there yeah. wouldn't be a me without him. He literally said that he wouldn't have played ball the way that he did without Scotty. I'm, right. I'm, yeah. Me personally, I don't think Scotty said what he wanted to say on that camera. I think mm -hmm. Scotty and, and Jordan was so cool because Scotty kept signing for the shit. He didn't have to. He could have moved on way before. But mm -hmm. he knew him and Mike had something that was bigger than basketball, which turned out to be six fucking championships. Oof, ridiculous. So it's like he sacrificed, he, he sacrificed being an assassin for them. Uh, I mean, he sacrificed the money to be the type of player he was with Chicago because he could have mm -hmm. went anywhere and got mm -hmm. way more money. <laughs> now, I'm going to take this two male and say Mike. Now, do y'all think that MJ broke him off some? No. No. Mm -hmm. Really? really? No, no, because because Scotty, Scotty pretty much took the money that he took from year to year because mm -hmm. he didn't basically want to bet on himself. Like, he didn't want to bet that he would be signed for, you know, three, four years for a big contract and then – he does he gets hurt before he's able to do that, right? Mm -hmm. So he he was he the where where he comes from, the type of family that he comes from, the type of money that he needed right then and there at that mm -hmm. second, that's why he kept taking those smaller deals. Now yeah. he thought that the Bulls were going to see his value mm -hmm. and just give him that money without <clears throat> him really having to ask for it. Since you're not gonna ask Mike. Like, you know, hey, Mike, you're going to come to Mike and say, hey, this is what we're going to offer you because you're worth this. He thought they were going to do the same thing for him, and they didn't. So that's where that's where Scotty kind of like, you know, had some animosity toward the Bulls organization. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, but I'm saying like, you, do you think when MJ got his cut or whatever, he was like, you know what, I'm going to take care of you, bro, if you stay with the Bulls? No. <laughs> no. Really? I don't, I don't no. think you're that type of dude. Nah. Okay, well, that... <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, bro. Hey, uh, can I can I say I mean... something real quick? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But I just had to look this up real quick. So, to give you some monetary context, well, if you were to earn a hundred thousand dollars per year, mm -hmm. it would take you ten years to earn one million dollars, as we know. True. Oh, okay. To reach one billion will require you to save every penny you earn. <laughs> For ten thousand years, all yeah. right, <laughs> bro. Well, slap me on the forehead and call me a fossil because I'm saving. <laughs> wow, you, gotta, you definitely will be a fossil, my nigga. Bones yeah. and all. She about to do the Captain America shit. Freeze <laughs> bones straight, <laughs> holding the money. I got it. <laughs> we talking about one, one, one billion. That's just one of those for ten thousand years. <laughs> That's a lot. You would have that, to say if you made a hundred and think this is if you make a hundred thousand. Every penny. Every, every single time, bro. You can't eat. You can't <laughs> get a hot and spicy if you eat. wanted to. I can't sleep. That's no, I'm good. Oh, you know what? Crazy. To be honest with y'all, man, you you really what are you gonna do? That's what I what would you even do with a hundred million? We oh we, I already told you what I was yeah, 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 he this I'm gonna, gonna have an army. Yeah. He gonna <laughs> Look, I'm gonna have an army. Talk about armies and islands. And, he said he's gonna uh, have a seal island. team seven. A seal team seven, definitely. Oh well. Um, then he's gonna have an army to take care of the army if they decide to turn. I'm gonna have, he a gonna have a couple of Russian niggas on this side. Like, yeah. Yeah. Russians, KGB some Chinese people. Hey, 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 what's for dub? Appreciate it, my nigga. That was a whole blast <laughs> Russian accent, but, but you know what it is. You gotta tell appreciate it, my nigga. You remember? <laughs> what is what is this nigga? What is this nigga? <laughs> You're really in that. You is, is, I'm gonna say it's niggas. 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 Yes. We're kings around this motherfucker. You feel me? Matter of fact, I'm buying the US. Fuck it. Fuck it. 100 million? That's how much the US worth? 100 million? It, it's, 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 look, its value probably depleted. First of all, we in debt. 
We in debt. Yeah, so we, I'm going right. to slide in we like a loan officer. We got the gold in the bank printing out money. Like, oh, what? No. <laughs> For a hood looking like, what? I never understood that. How you go broke when you print out your own money? Because you owe other countries? <laughs> yeah. Well, That's how. Hey, hey, you know, hey, run that bitch day by day. <laughs> get, let's get, let's get this shit rolling. <laughs> As as much as I understand inflation, it's just as much as I don't understand it. Yeah. yeah. We old niggas that old niggas and they want that money. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what Bro, they do. our interest, our ancestors for the next fifty years will be paying that. Yeah. Hey, like our ancestors but our people. That ain't nice. That it, was good. <laughs> it was good when they had we had us going for free labor. It was good. They, 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 they could do what they wanted to do then. Now, yeah, now, motherfucker, you gotta, now they pay. gotta pay, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> said it was good when they had us for free labor. Nigga, free. Oh. Hope you don't expect me to say Now, no all, of a sudden, you, now all of a sudden, you in a deficit. Oh, well, duh. What did you think right. you have to pay people when they work? Like, we might have to I'm going to tell you straight up. They can no longer sell me that bullshit that they can't give African Americans uh, reparations because Cap. you literally you know had it's to Cap. give 12. Hundred dollars. You had to give a uh, twelve hundred dollars to every American in 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 America right now because of this pandemic. So you can't yeah, fucking tell even, me. It didn't even and hurt they didn't. They took into consideration of undocumented. So mm-hmm. we don't even know how many undocumented people got checks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And now mm-hmm. we make that, up fourteen percent. Mm-hmm. No, and not even that. But dead people got checks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dead people got mm-hmm. checks. I said, how you? How you mess up and send a debt? How you cut a debt person a check? How you do that? You be, be careful Y'all in the grave. Just, be careful now. Dead? Niggas gonna be going to the grave site tonight. Hey, oh, hey bro, shit. let me get your let me get your thumb. Let me see. <laughs> that nigga shit just like this. That nigga got an iron grip. Give me that. Give nah, me it's that. like this. Oh, how how when they hit this? <laughs> bro, yes, bro. Smoke his finger. Smoke his finger. <laughs> How high is the dumbest movie? Like, I gotta go back and rewatch it. I got me too. Because <laughs> I that watched it like great. ten years ago again, and it was just like, oh my god! Oh, you gotta watch it now. I gotta, gotta watch, watch it again, it bro. Like, so speaking of some crazy stuff, man, how y'all feel about Mr. Kanye announcing, quote unquote, he, that he's running? He's he fucking up the rotation. <laughs> quote unquote. He fucking up the rotation. He he know what the fuck he's doing. We just can't take it serious. We just gotta ignore it. Yeah. But you know what? I can't say that because we did the same thing with Trump. Yeah. That nigga won. So as, we as thought far that as it's facts. Still voting though. We still gotta vote. My, yeah. Like that. But if you all, look at- I don't think he intended on really winning. So when he won, he ain't really know what the fuck to do. He didn't. He didn't. No, the he nigga did, face was like, oh. Oh, oh I need to pick a lot of a lot of niggas decided that oh I'm not gonna vote for the for, for one of the lesser evils. So like a lot of people just didn't vote. Mm-hmm. And they ended up winning. Yep. Mr. President. Alien. But Hillary won the popular vote. Oh, oh, did you guys know that a bill was passed <clears throat> that um presidential candidates can now win by popular vote? Real? They have to take yeah. They have to take it into consideration now, because mm. in 2016 Hillary would have won by a landslide. She oh yeah, of course. Yeah, she had the yeah the popular mm-hmm. vote. Wow. Trump, yeah. So now they, you see that. So, see? but how would that's, they implement that's it? That's what I'm saying. We can't put no more dumbasses in the White House. Well, they're trying to figure out. Well, trying not to do away with the electoral college. That's okay. what they're, they're, what's yeah. on the table yeah. now. Is trying to figure out. Do you do away with the electoral college, or mm-hmm. do you find some kind of way to implement or make make it to where the popular vote can also trump the electoral college? Mm. You know what I'm saying. So it it, it really kind of depends because, again, people were upset because Hillary won the popular vote by three million votes last yeah. year, four years ago, but yeah. she lost the electoral college mainly because she neglected the Bible Belt states, right? So. Mm-hmm. When Trump, yep. so a, a lot of those states were blue and had been blue for years, mm-hmm. but because her campaign team and they neglected it alongside with a lot of other things, like Marcus said, mm-hmm. people not wanting to vote for the lesser of the two evils yeah. and mm-hmm. decided not to vote at all or write in motherfuckers like Bernie Sanders, mm-hmm. um, it left a situation where uh, <laughs> those Bible Belt states became red and Trump was able to kind of 
you know, sew up those electoral college votes yeah. in those particular states. So we that's kind of how they We, we, we slept on a lot of people that was really fucking what Trump was saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is one of them things where you don't believe it's true and believe it's really happening. But because yeah. Trump was so, he already had money. So I feel like that, that kind of helped him not be swayed by other niggas with money. Like mm-hmm. the niggas right. was able to say what the fuck he wanted to say. And he's still saying whatever the fuck he wants. He still, say. but no. people, it's people really fuck with that for some reason. Like, mm-hmm. like, yeah. oh man, that nigga don't you? You don't give a damn, and I like that because he's just straightforward. He's he, and it's just like we really didn't, we really didn't think about that. Like niggas would really want something like that. We didn't think about presentation, the um, the the poise of the president. How, how he's a goof. To look. Um, and it, it really showed during this situation because and a lot of other ones. But when you when you have like a pandemic or anything going on, you're supposed to look to the leader of the country to kind of calm down, be the conscious of the country. And right. mm-hmm. nigga is saying, oh, it's the China. It's the China. I'm going to call it the China right. virus and shit like, like that. He's like, he like, not even trying to put a Band-Aid on the shit. No. Right. It the, ain't even no time for that shit. I believe he had said something recently where he said, if they didn't do testing for the coronavirus, then this wouldn't be a thing. <laughs> no, what do you say? If they, Wait, China, he said if, want, they, if they stopped no, testing... Yeah, if they, if they stop testing, testing, they will stop increasing the in numbers or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm like... Almost as if, if you stop testing, then we just won't know who has the fucking virus. So it won't like, exist. Then it then go away. Or he accidentally told on what the agenda really is and that the inflation right. of the numbers is not true. I do. It could be that because he he's so he is so dumb to where... Are you dumb? Are you dumb, 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 dumb? Like, you stupid? stupid or dumb. But you know what, Mally? Even if that shit is true and they're inflating the numbers just to scare people, like, the, the reality of it is, is it's that... It's still real. There are people around me that, you know, like, I know personally that got that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, like, some motherfuckers, like, didn't die. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo... Even if they are inflating the numbers, like this shit it's still like, out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know the news the news things. always do that though. The news have to yeah. do that to the <laughs> news <laughs> is there to scare you into chilling. Because right. if they was to really tell you what's really going on, niggas will go crazy. There's no well, what's wrong with these motherfuckers order. out here? Because <laughs> they ain't chilling. Right. <laughs> So that just they lets you know, do. you know, when you're reading the Bible and you're just like, man, how could they not listen to Noah? Noah telling these niggas, you know, I'm like, hey, man, I just <laughs> like, yeah, boat, man. We, the the sky is falling, the sky we literally is falling. living in that time where you will see because you're like, bro, niggas was partying around Noah, Noah out here building this big ass fucking and dude. everybody I'm like, bro, like, bro, you need a, you need some nails. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that nigga was like, I can see you need, people, you need a rock. I can see people right. drinking a red wine. This nigga know the tripping, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, this nigga tripping, bro. This nigga got two of every animal. How the nigga, fuck is you, I don't even know he he that What's shit. wrong with him? That nigga tripping. Like, he and then as, them, bro. Like, and I always thought that, like, just the different stories in the bottom line, bro. How can people not pay attention? And it's the signs of telling them. And it just showed me that now, like, bro. Shit could be going on. I just seen somebody's story last night. They was partying and they was like drinking and stuff and they had their mask on. And I'm just like, you stupid. when it gets to the <laughs> point where I go out with a mask and I got to do this number, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's, not, it's no point. At that point, just go ahead, get rid of people. Like, it, it just makes me right. feel like these are the people. I, 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 look, I said the same thing. That's for I real, bro. That. Y'all need like, to go. Like, <laughs> I be watching a lot of kings and time. kings and queen shows and shit like that. Like, only the strong survived. Like, all the weak people and all that shit, they would get rid of your ass. Like, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say this. System yeah, I'm gonna say this, man. And, and and this is this is this is to everybody out there that's listening, that's watching, that's uh, you know, that's going to uh, at some point in time look at this, look at this podcast, yo, like. Y'all motherfuckers out here, and I hate to I hate to say it like that so bluntly, but I do. <laughs> y'all. y'all motherfuckers out there have to educate yourselves on what's real and what's fake out here in these streets because there's so much misinformation that goes around um, that 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 you know sometimes I can understand people to get confused and things of that nature, but you have to look uh, at what it is, man, for real, like. At the end of the day, 
This is a two-party system. Either Trump or Biden is going to win the presidency. Mm -hmm. Fuck Kanye at mm -hmm. all. Because being honest, being honest about it, Kanye already can't run within six states because he missed the guideline, the deadline to be able to mm -hmm. do so. That's one. Two, like he still hasn't registered. So he won't even really be able to do anything but getting written in. But at mm -hmm. the same time, even with him being getting written in, which he can do for any state, uh, that still is a vote for Trump because any vote that doesn't go to Biden is a vote for Trump. So mm -hmm. we have to keep that in mind. At the end of the day, do your research, do your homework on these people. I've, I've went through my timelines all week and all I've been hearing is people coming up with different, you know, situations about Biden being a pedophile or Biden uh, doing this and doing that or him being just as racist as Trump. People keep in mind that this is the same uh, 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 this is the same kind of thing that they used against Hillary in 2016, mm -hmm. where Russia made it seem, and Russia and Trump made it seem as if Hillary was just as bad or worse than him. So mm -hmm. that way it would persuade voters to either not vote at all, which was a vote for him, yep. mm -hmm. be so confused to where they didn't want to vote for the uh, lesser of the two evils, mm -hmm. you know, in, in a situation. We can't make that. Like, educate yourselves on the crime, the 94 crime bill. Educate yourselves on why that bill had a whole lot of good in it, which is why a lot of the black Congress members voted on that bill, including Bernie Sanders, voted on that bill because it had a lot of good in the bill. Of course, there were Democrats. There was a lot of bullshit, that, too. It was a lot of bullshit in there. But you also have to be cognizant <clears throat> that it wasn't the bill itself that help to continue to push mass incarceration for African Americans. What that yeah. bill, what that bill did was what well, actually what made the bill bad was the fact that you have your uh racist DAs, you have your racist judges, and you have your biased jurors that mm -hmm. basically um uh misused that bill to their advantages. So therefore you have the three strikes in your out bill, which was in there that Bill Clinton actually implemented, which was now I can continue to push uh, uh, and, and fraudulently spread uh, spread coke and weed on and plant stuff on these different people to help push and push their three strikes up. So that mm -hmm. way they go to they go to prison for long periods of time. You got your judges who uh, basically were were put in because we didn't vote in midterm and local elections. So now you have your racist judges that are sitting in these seats that are pretty much inflating. The uh, the um, the the sentencing on on mm -hmm. uh, on these on these petty crimes for right. African Americans that they wouldn't inflate on our white counterparts. So right. we have to also take accountability for us not voting in your local and your uh, midterm elections to make sure that the racist judges that are in these seats, the DAs that we that we that we put in there, that they're out and we have people that align with our ideologies uh, that are in. So that way we don't have the situation. So for people saying Biden is racist simply by the crime bill is uh, uh, extremely absurd. And you really need to do your homework and your research on this shit, please. Right. But I feel like, I feel like too. Go ahead. Um, Cause real quick, um, now while we're talking about voting, Right now, for the people that's in Harris County, um, Brazoria County, um, Fort Bend County, Stafford, Galveston, um, counties around that surround Harris, y'all need to go and get out and vote for the preliminary um, elections. That's going on until two days from now. Friday is the last day that you can do your preliminary um, voting. Now, they don't push this. They don't push this. It's all about November, November, November. Mm -hmm. Listen, November won't even matter if you don't get into your local, like like Joe said, until you until you vote for your local city councilman, your congressman, your um, your sheriff, your mayor. All of that matters because that is the legislature that builds up to um to your um we're, we're rep their representatives mm -hmm. for. For the um for the president, so they are the ones that make the legislature in your state, in your city. The president mm -hmm. don't do that, and a yes. lot of people think, oh, it's the president's fault that um dash cams are being turned off. No, it's mm -hmm. your senator's fault 
the reason why this is not being pushed. It is your congressman's fault. The reason why this is, it's your city councilman, city council women's fault that this stuff is not being pushed through. So everybody's so quick to blame the president. I ain't gonna lie, President Trump is a, he, I can't stand him. But I got to respect the fact that he is a businessman and he has brought that aspect of business to the White House. And it has helped. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, but it has helped in a way. I'm not a Republican. Not a <laughs> I I'm smell not. Republican in here, y'all. I don't know, but I, listen, I just know what worked for me and my money. And, and as me as being a veteran, it has helped me. I have benefited from his presidency in some form of fashion. So I have to be real when I say that. Yeah, do I like yeah. him as a person? I do not. I think his politics, I think he is not good at being political. No. I don't think that no. he is a good po a politician, but he is a good businessman. And that's why mm -hmm. I've benefited. But mm -hmm. I do, and I'm aware that a lot of people are not benefited from. So I would be completely, I would feel terrible if I just said, oh, you know, well, I'm good. No, because I got family members who are not good and who are being uh, negatively affected by the things that he's allowing to happen. So yeah. vote, 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 vote for your preliminary, your judge, like Joe said, your judges, like all of that matters. A lot of people uh, are talking about Corona and, oh, I don't want to get out because of Corona. Nigga, you out here going to Walmart every two days because you bored. Yeah. No. Go and go and find out where you need to vote at. Yeah, no, nah, that's, that's, but you know what? We, we really have to, um, like Joe, like both of y'all were saying, like everybody usually say, we got to educate ourselves because, <laughs> you know, this isn't something that was really taught to us growing up. Um, the main mm -hmm. thing was always taught to us was presidency. Um, they touched on Congress and stuff like that and the, you know, the branches of the government, but they really didn't dive into the meaning and how much weight that, that they hold as far as things that matter to you and things that touch you at your home. You know, like a lot of kids don't really realize certain things and laws that affect them personally than some of the laws that affect them, you know, federally, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, we do need to keep pushing, educating yourselves. We, we shouldn't bash them for not knowing because that's a lot of information that I didn't even understand, you know, right coming out of high school that I had to just go back and like, damn, what is this? This doesn't even make sense. It's stuff that I'm still learning. It's stuff that I'm still looking up. And it's like certain things just wasn't at our forefront when we was mm -hmm. coming up. You know, a lot of other people either had the home that understood because a lot of times it's your parents, but some of our parents really wasn't really just educated. Sometimes they old school and they, they didn't really understand, you know what I'm saying? So you couldn't get that from home like other people could, but Knowing that I have children, I try to make sure I'm keeping myself in tune with what's going on, what I don't know, what I still have questions about, because I want to be able to pass that information to them for when they get older, you know, for my children, when they get older. So that way, if the school fails them, I won't. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. The thing you know what, gotta, Doug? Uh -huh. You know what, Doug? I got a, um, I got a video for you, uh, uh, for you, sir, that you basically speaking on what you were saying about um, we weren't really grown. We didn't really grow up with that. You start to realize if you go on YouTube, I mean, not YouTube, but if you go on uh, Facebook, um, you know, if you've been on there really since all of this shit's been going on, you start to realize how many niggas did not pay attention in uh, government. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, yeah. that shit yeah. or, or honestly so, had the teachers to give a damn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's a video uh, by this rapper called Yellow Pain. It's Y-E-L-L-O-P-A-I-N. Yeah, I think I've it's seen that. Red called My Vote Don't Count. Mm -hmm. um, he pretty much breaks down all three branches, what they do, and why... And what and why 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 it's important for us to be able to vote because how how it affects each branch. So, uh, you know, if you need if you need to, you know, you can you know drop a plug or whatever. No, uh, yeah, yellow yeah. pain or whatever. So that may people can kind of like get an understanding of how this works. It's cool to be ignorant to how this works. Nobody is gonna you know bash mm -hmm. you because you don't know how niggas, it works. Niggas are bashing though. Let's be what, honest. But what, but but I'll bash I'll bash you if you refuse to get educated mm -hmm. and then you continue right. to spew bullshit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's when I'll you gonna debate a nigga who know. Like I researched this and I know for a fact, but you sitting here telling me, no, no, that ain't right. <laughs> I, nah, if I'm not hundred percent, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back. 
The car right. facts right here, nigga. The car facts are right here <laughs> telling me. Yeah. And you telling me I'm wrong. Like, but I mean, that's that's really, right. but I mean, no one person can say they know it all because like we we kind of we still learning shit as we see shit mm-hmm. we fucking celebrated christopher columbus for damn near all our life <laughs> you know what i'm saying because we right. thought, let's just be real he's an explorer no nah, we thought that nigga damn he's discovered here <laughs> he's discovered oh, he here oh, he the nigga you he know, a, understand. he's amazing yeah bro like that's what they made you think like they made you think this nigga yeah. was just that nigga and i was like damn nobody was here nobody was home when he got here like we just <laughs> nobody was home discovered just, a whole and I had questions as a kid, but that's the thing. Like, that curiosity kind of goes away for certain things once you just get exposed. Like, you know, once you get brainwashed right. for so long, you just start believing, like, okay, this is Christopher Columbus, man. This is Christopher Columbus Day. You know, you're not learning it's funny about you said that, bro. and so many other things. It's funny you said that because I just did some research on uh, uh, Christopher Columbus and found, and oh, I knew, but I got more in depth with understanding that there were actually Africans who uh, traveled uh, to the Americas during the, uh, the uh, that sailed the Atlantic well before Christopher Columbus did. That's actually how he got his, uh, his the idea of being able to do yeah. so. Um, it was because during- Because they thought it was flat. Well, not that it was flat, but they thought that it just dropped off. Like he wasn't right. aware that around the, over the horizon that there, were, there was more land. Because mm-hmm. I can't think of the that they said name. that they was there too. Africans were here already. Um, I've, I've heard that quite a few times. Um, and that's, that's what I mean by just the fact that, you know, you forever learning and it's okay to not know some information, but it's, it's just like you were saying, Joe, it's ignorant to just be so forceful with conversation when you really don't even know, honestly, because you, mm-hmm. <laughs> I wasn't here a thousand years ago, so I can't really <laughs> tell you, right. <laughs> we really all guessing, like, it's really just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just what does your heart tell you like if this feels like right if, if this is something that makes more sense we're not stupid you know what i'm saying yeah. so um certain things make sense and of course they try to cover up certain things to make us you know feel lower you know of course mm-hmm. you know of course the egypts were white why why would we ever be kings and queens you know what i'm saying like they mm-hmm. they will give you knowledge of shit to make you feel like you never were at a certain status you know like you just come from nothing if you've always been a slave that's not true at all you know what i'm saying so um bro i, bro, I just been i've been on a a research kick just yeah i see like, it. it's in the hair i see it it's, yeah it's, 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 i know he, 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 uh, yeah, he, he coming on with himself <laughs> bro, I, I just had to figure like I've, I've always wanted to know like who was this motherfucker posing as white jesus in in, uh, in in this stuff and i just started doing my research and figured mm-hmm. out who he was man you know it was like yo his name was caesar or something uh, not caesar, caesar, caesar. Bor- borgia yeah borgia yeah. Like, like he yeah. was like pope alexander's <laughs> illegitimate uh uh son man like this motherfucker actually modeled the, the reason for him taking that picture was to model to uh, basically bring about a new Christ, you know, and mm. and um, and and he, uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci actually painted the picture. I like the air uh, mm-hmm. and he kind of like you know did that whole thing, man. So it's like, yo, I I start I went back and to, and started doing my research on the Vatican and Italy. Wait, how did he do it? And everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do it. I feel like I'm gonna get struck. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You know, like, oh, you look, you got a little like, shade you know, came behind your head, too. Do it again. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm good. I'm good. Yo, it's it's crazy, man, how, how stuff, you know, it's like, yo, all this time we, we've been growing up, bro, you know, brought up to know that. And it's like, yo, that, that makes absolutely no sense because there were no people that looked like Europeans in that area yeah. of the world at all. You they know, wouldn't so, survive because of the heat. Like, he, <laughs> They're burnt to a crisp. Niggas, niggas was getting yeah. skin cancer just by going to the beach. Yeah, you, you in a tropical climate for all them years, and y'all are just good. No, hey. that ain't. That's not how it works. Hey, y'all man, in Antarctica. I'm, I'm still. I'm still. What I'm still trying to educate myself on is a couple of things. How them big ass stones <laughs> happen on the pyramids, and what's up with Bermuda Triangle. I'm still trying oh, to figure out man. a lot of shit. You asking too many questions, Doug. I know, right? Look, I don't got no, my bro. army. I don't got my army yet, so I'm gonna chill. Yeah, chill, bro. You asking <laughs> too many questions, the, my God. The FBI oh, finna text you in a minute. Like, yeah. shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's all they gonna say. Shut the fuck up. End it. Lottie. <laughs> End Lottie. it. Wanna live? 
<laughs> Put it off right now. But it ain't even live. <laughs> <Indeed. laughs> Delete it. We're watching it. Yeah. No. We we on the we on the big screen right now at the CIA. <laughs> right? <laughs> they watching all of us. Oh, nigga we gotta movie watch movie. out for that nigga Joe Polk. He 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 googling too much shit. <laughs> Slow down that nigga internet. Slow down that nigga shit quick. Chill out, Joe. I don't, I don't who? Joe who? I, I never Pope. Heard. <laughs> Pope, what? Pope. I don't like Pope in my orange juice. <laughs> hey man, look, it's the hair, bro. It's what happened. Jake you know what? Every time right. niggas get woke, they grow their hair out. Jay Z, they grow their hair. Everybody gets to grow their shit and yeah. don't tame it. It just be blue. Yeah. I mean, it be brown yeah. and shit. I'm gonna wake up and go. <laughs> yep, man. That's it. Wake up and so. So, go, question: man. Should Wayne yeah. cut his hair off? What should Wayne do with his hair, man? Should he keep letting that shit falling off? <laughs> so his dress be looking like a three piece catfish fried hard. Like a catfish fried hard. <laughs> I said, I said <laughs> fried <laughs> extra crispy. Nah, I'm like, shit. wait a minute. Whole, <laughs> whole of French fries. <laughs> this shit do be looking kind of uh, looking scrumptious. Like I'm hungry. That shit be funny because Reggie be mad. She be like, y'all need to get off my debt. No, you need to tell that nigga. I'm to tell you that nigga who shit fucked up. <laughs> I feel bad for her, bro. She got, like, like could you imagine you got to defend your dad all day for shit that he's saying, dude? Yeah. Yeah, yeah didn't he say it. something uh recently controversial? I don't I think he, he said all cops aren't racist. That's what he said. He said what? He said all cops aren't racist. I mean, I don't see what, what the problem is. You know what? Is. I don't think yeah. I don't think the problem be what they say. I just think the timing of it be the bad. timing. Because like you can't say that, right? Like right now. Yeah, like all right, nigga, we know. In Wayne's case, he always goes back to the 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 white cop that saved his life. Like we know that story. We hear that story all the time. Okay, nigga, that nigga was Creole. That's not what this is about right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he was on. He that had he had black in him. He was bound to help you. Yeah, of course. Right. He, he was probably like season color. chicken too type shit. <laughs> he like seasoned chicken. So, <laughs> um. I just want to hit on you guys. Um, uh, Terry Crews. Like, oh, my God. He was <sighs> worse than Candace Owens. Like, oh, yeah. my God. Oh, he's oh, up there. No, no, no. I ain't going to give him that. Okay, no, no, that. no, no. You know nah, what? Candace right. Owens, she's a piece of right. shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. No, yeah. yeah, she's the scum of the earth. Terry I just needs to stop uh, tweeting. That's all he needs. I read a post the other day that said that Terry Crews is still in character from white chicks. That's the best way you can put it. Yeah, yeah, like he that's, tweeting. That's right? like the best way you can put it. Nigga, so oh my took God. that role serious. You um, <laughs> jigger boos <laughs> away from me. I love food. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you're not a man white? Oh, yeah. like, come on, bro. What kind of shit is <laughs> you on, man? <laughs> yeah, he, so he was he, trying to make sure that um, he quoted, well, not really real quoted. I'm going off the dome on this one, but um, mm. let's make sure that we don't let Black Lives Matter turn into Black Lives better mm-hmm. um <laughs> I, I just it, it it brings me to that point where i feel like niggas can't ever come together for a cause like i feel like right. niggas just can't keep this shit in the, in the huddle we can't just stay in the huddle it's always one nigga out the line looking off at the crowd and shit and not, Terry, what you doing you know, huh? <laughs> he's not trying to hear the play we trying to run like it's right. all outside the huddle not paying i love that money. analogy dog i love that like, keep that like, same, yeah. Cause we trying to keep niggas. Yeah, skip. Certain... I love it too. Shut up. <laughs> yes, skip. 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 Yeah, skip. Yeah, skip. Say it again, skip. skip. I just like the way yeah, it skip. run through my ears. Yeah, I love it, dog. But yeah. Nah, yeah, like we trying to yeah. we trying to keep some shit. Yeah. You know, trying to keep some pressure on these niggas. But right now, niggas, right. Is, uh, it's so many certain people just, just delete. Give. Give them the phone. Take their phone away. Somebody got to be like, yo, bro, give me the phone, Terry. I mean, Terry, give me the phone. <laughs> like, reverse, isn't Terry. he married to somebody yeah, that's white? I mean, like, I mean, that yeah, has no, no he's probably black. No, he's probably she? black. Yeah, uh, she's didn't black. she mix or something? She like albino. She's, yeah, oh, yeah, so, she's really black. yeah, she's black, though. Yeah. She yeah. must ma- mainly must rep for her white side or something. I don't know, because I, <laughs> I couldn't... I just don't understand how you could be married to somebody and you not like saying nothing. So both of y'all feel the same right. way. Well, I mean, right. she right. might, she might, but you you can't. I mean, sometimes nigga, grown ass man, you can't. Yeah, 
Like, you I'm gonna assume going, y'all in the same house, nigga. One band, one sound. Take that down. <laughs> you look stupid. <laughs> you Making me look dumb. Down, like, shit. take it down. Okay, like, no. What? But you probably that's ain't gonna crazy. divorce your husband just because he's saying stuff like that's. Acid. I'm not gonna divorce him, but I'm gonna delete it. He gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be gone. You gotta pull so, a nigga to the side and be like, "Hey, you being a dumbass." Listen, sound like here. abuse. Shut, shut no, nah, man, I'm trying to. Nah, she, you know niggas hit the. Nah, man, see what I'm trying to do is. Nah, but you know what? He um he spews the same type of rhetoric that a lot of other black men like to yeah. throw in there too, though. At the yeah. end of the day, they try to say, "Well, hey." We need to focus more on us because we're killing each other up too. We only get mad when a white when 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 the, when the cops kill us as opposed to the black cops. Again, my people, educate yourselves because that is every proximity. race. People, every people race killing man. proximity, bro. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. You know. Bro. So at the end of the day, let's 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 dead that narrative because Black Lives Matter is not about the black on black crime but i don't even want to say that because i think that's bullshit it's not about black people killing black people white people killing white people whatever what black lives matter is about is about the police brutality that is being put mm-hmm. upon the uh people of color that's what it's about we just trying so, to be equal nigga. yeah that's it so at the end that's of the day it. let's not, not better. Let's, let's not even bring that other shit into the conversation right Bro. now let's focus on brianna taylor and why uh, uh, they uh, still those not arrested. Been convicted. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Prosecuted and convicted, bro. Like that's what Black Lives Matter is about, Terry. So you know <laughs> Terry, Terry, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like yo, like that that kind of shit. Like I, some of the shit he was saying because he was on Rolling Martin the other day, and and uh, he 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 made some valid <clears throat> points, but at the same time, it's like. Yo, I think he misses the big picture. And it's not time mm-hmm. for that, bro. Like, it's, it's, this, this is what I was saying, too, earlier before you joined. I said, you know what? What we need to do, all the shit that they're doing outside, all these corporations, the Black Lives Matter, painting the streets, all that shit's cool. I like it, whatever. But we need to come together. As the corporations are claiming that they're trying to push through us because they're trying to save their dollar, we need to come together with an agenda. We need to kind of be our own. You know, kind of like police ourselves and our actions. This is where we come together as the black community and say, hey, man, cease fire on each other. Let's let's chill out on this. Let's protect our young black kings and queens. Let's 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 educate them. Let's let's try to do this. Let's let's put a dollar in our own. Let's support black businesses. Let's let's do this. This is where we create an agenda because all this shit we doing is just like we just doing shit. And it's just gonna right. kind of like be like a never ending cycle. This shit just gonna happen again with the next situation. It's gonna be like, okay. Now we back to marching again. Now it's Black Lives Matter again. Now, no, let's, while we got niggas' attention and we got a little pressure, let's come together. Let's create something ourselves. Let's, let's kind of tone things. Let's, let's be our own. Uh, let's criticize ourselves and our own actions. Let's, lo- let's stop saying, oh, black people kill people. We understand that. That's why when we come together, we telling each other, hey, all this blood and crypt shit, y'all can join, y'all can calm down, y'all can relax. Maybe go back to how shit was supposed to be originally when y'all mm-hmm. was policing the neighborhoods instead of you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Beefing with each other. Let's let's create True. our own narratives for the positives. You know, for ourselves, we gotta True. we gotta fi- we gotta clean up our own closet before we, you know. And again, while everything is going on, because again, these corporations they they worry about the dollar. That's that's really it. At like, the end of the day, what the fuck happening to us? Don't they really don't give a damn? They just trying to let us know that hey hey we we liked we appreciate you we work. support you niggas. Y'all matter. <laughs> Blackout what? Tuesday, shit, blackout every day. You know what they <laughs> right. long as, as long right. Goddamn. spinning, they good. But if we come together and say, you know what, let's buy more black. You know, let's 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 do some. Let's create a, our own banking. Let's let's create our own music industry, uh, our own label. Let's let's we got niggas as billionaires. Let's let's come together ourselves and see how the change will be when niggas start seeing their money. You know, all that that economy start dropping. <laughs> Because we ain't buying Gucci sandals, socks, and we not belts. saying that this is not happening. Like we, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah, it's just like an overall it's, thing. It's happening, but I think the reason why we see what we see is because anything negative in the black community is going to overshadow the good. Exactly, and mm-hmm. it's sad because there could be so much good that's happening within your community, but let two people die on oh, Sunnyside Sunday at. That's that's what's gonna be highlighted. Well, Sunnyside. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's, I said. That's the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's why I said it because it's more accurate. So, so <laughs> <I'll park. laughs> but um, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's gonna be. 
that that negative connotation is gonna always overshadow. It's the always good gonna stain that. more than yeah. Than, than you know, negative. so we're not saying it's not happening, but let it be more apparent. You yeah. know, our actions need to be more concrete. You know, we need to start doing things with intention and not for show, Thanks. and not for uh, you know, not for a hashtag or not yeah. for like you know. It it needs to be it needs to be That's like solidified in who we are as a person, who we are yeah. as a people. And it needs to be passed down because what good does it do if you go out and oh I'm supporting black businesses, but your child's still wearing Gucci Prada and I <laughs> I'm like, wait, like you see what I mean? The red it just doesn't make sense. So you need to start with yourself and you need to continue to pass that down. That mindset passes down. Just like the trauma that we were passed down through slavery and that people still don't believe, oh, I'm over that. I was never a slave. But you still got them chains on your mind. God, it's just, that's just what it is. Bars. Like, Man, let's, let's be all the way honest. The Emancipation Proclamation was, was signed and brought into, into fruition in 1863. When you really think about it, um, uh, a lot of our great grandparents and some of us were blessed enough to even be able to be, uh, be in the st still in their presence before they passed on. But a lot of them were on the, the cusp and, and dealt with slavery, mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, the shit is really not that far removed when you My really great grandmother was a slave. My grandma grew up on a plantation. Boom. There you go. Yeah. You know, it, it's, 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 it's like close. It, Everybody needs yeah. to kind of like understand that, yo, uh, 1800, 1900, like we were born in the 1900s. Like, yeah. come on, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. let's, let's, let's put all of this. That's, that's right there. Hell, my mom and dad seen the, the black, I always say this, but they seen the black and white uh, water fountains. And mm -hmm. You gotta yeah, go to bro. the back door to get food and stuff like that. So, yeah. um, it, it was never equal. No matter how, I mean, even with that, like Juneteenth, these are slaves that just found out. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even. It's not funny, whole, but it's crazy. No, but <laughs> it's just reality. Those, some people was already, <laughs> niggas was free already. Y'all just right. found free out. Free for like, years. Hold on, wait. Mm -hmm. You mean to tell General, me I ain't got to. <laughs> hold on, wait. General Granger then, then, then pulled up on him. Hey, man, y'all know you, what? Who's <laughs> on that nag? Yeah, who's that on that nag? What you doing, man? That nigga said, "What? You on that fine Me? horse? You on that fine horse like that? Like yo? And that's that, these niggas just found out. Like niggas realize, still plowing. The holiday is I just found out. I'm, oh. Niggas is still out there plowing. Oh yeah, bro, I'm free. What? And it's like they." And it's, it's just, you try to hit people, you try to get people a reality, like, bro, this shit was just a few years ago. Like, let's, mm -hmm. let's relax. We are still descendants of people that we were in contact with alive that bro. dealt with some form of slavery as mm -hmm. far as, like, on the real slave type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. um, we just got to keep on. And we grew up with that. Like, you grow up all your life seeing your people in elementary, bro. I'm talking about young. When you learning, when you a sponge, you seeing your people always being oppressed, and you know you you seeing them. You see the school you go to compared to the, the, the other school. Facts, the books. The, what, the, yeah, you see Bro, the books. Bro, falling you get. apart. <laughs> yeah, I'm, and and we can't act like that ain't a major part. But you know mm -hmm. we we'll probably get into that next podcast because that's yeah. that's another education is. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's that's a whole podcast. And I know man, so. that it, it, I know be y'all being in in HISD. I it, trust me, it was bad over there at Willery's too because they treated us like like stepchildren over there. Like we we had the to toilet books, we but but you go over there to Clements and all them. They got all the news. They, they books kids. read themselves. They, 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 <laughs> they, they books yeah, read they themselves. Like, Personal like, audio books. Yeah, I'm books just so new though. The pages sticking together. You like what's going on? Right. Mm -hmm. Not a not they a book. Even, they ain't even looking at that section yet. Like <laughs> right, the books where you see your homie that had the book last year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> say the name of the people. Like, oh, mm -hmm. such such had oh from nineteen seventy seven. Nineteen seventy. Wait, is that <laughs> my grandma? <laughs> Hold on. Wait. <laughs> see, grandma, you used this book before? Yes, yes, child. Yeah, that's my and thing. That's sad because I sign my name in the back. As much as shit changing, you would think. They would upgrade those and update those books, but hopefully they just go to like computers or something. Um, then they give them the 95 Windows 95. 
Dial up. Hole come on through. <laughs> or the window actually come up. Oh, yeah. The- Man. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, Lord. They don't even get an iPad in. They just they get a regular notebook. <laughs> you got to write your shit. I miss them. Oh, uh, I miss them screensavers, them away savers. Like the, uh, mm. when the computer was idle. And they had a shit going on. You just like I like the screensaver with the maze. I thought that <laughs> shit was live, bro. Yeah, I well, I screensaver yeah. with the maze, it would go down. I like down the lasers. Up. The lasers, the ones with the I used to be like, Damn, that's don't know crazy. nothing about that, bro. They don't know nothing. Well, look, look at y'all showing y'all age, bro. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> don't know nothing about that. I just had a conversation earlier about that. Like we had L we had to dial up for internet. Like, that means if you was on the computer, you couldn't be on the phone. On the phone. That's what yep. it was. That's, that's what it right. was. Mama on your ass. Get yeah, off the right. Come on right now. Come on. <laughs> All that shit happened in a matter of years. Now it's like you can pull mm-hmm. out a computer damn there in your phone. Yep. Right? Your phone is a computer. Yeah, I, pretty I, much. I wrote a paper on my phone two years ago. No lie. Like I'm really? not even lying so, to you. I, mean, okay. I got I got Word. I got Excel, PowerPoint. Yeah, on my, on my phone. phone. I got, yeah. That shit is Times crazy. Times have changed, bro. bro. But it's like Times just the changed. fact that so much can happen in our lives and we're still young yeah so just yeah. to just to see the next 20 years where the children that are growing up now in it like with these computers fast as hell 5g crazy um <laughs> the controversy of 5g but let's uh, not get on that bro you know? 5g spreading corona <laughs> Man, let's not get on that bro it's adding to it's it. it's the plan it's the plan. Corona coming from the towers Wait. then they're gonna give you a chip and you ain't gonna be able to take it out <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to take it out. You know they have to give chips the to, uh, for patients. <laughs> like at different places, they they put uh, chips in your arm, and you can go to a vending machine, scan your chip, mm-hmm. and press that. what you want, and the food will come out. I said, "What enough? No, that's too much, bro. I don't want no. no chips. I don't want nothing in me. Nah, it's said, gonna be mandatory, dude. <laughs> I remember watching. This. I remember being on YouTube for Market hours. Or oh, they was talking about the market of beasts, and they was talking about how they gonna be putting chips and shit in you. And now um, it's happening, bro. That's the crazy thing. I was like, Yeah, bro, I'm good. Don't put nothing in my body that God didn't already put in there for me. I'm good. I, I don't need no take chip. that nose ring out your nose, brother. I oh, mean, it ain't got nothing to do. We'll take them earrings oh, out your ear, sister. I ain't, I'm not the one that said that. You did. I'm just I saying, take women, them earrings out. Women can have earrings, right? <laughs> Right, them niggas in Africa, uh, them niggas used to have the bull rings in their nose. <laughs> they be having them big ass droopy iron earrings. Well, they yeah, I'm good on that. Remember the ladies in <laughs> India that would have them, them <laughs> rings on their neck? And oh, they yeah, and they stretch their neck out. I mean, oh, bro, fuck. What kind of shit was going on? I don't know where we <laughs> this conversation oh, took a real it's look. Like, yo, look, look how uh, bro. Y'all remember those textbooks? Y'all remember <laughs> them textbooks with them pictures in it? You be flipping, seeing shit high looking India. <laughs> It'd be like somebody with a bang you, Hey, you was one of them. Bring them in the game, bring them in the game. I was I was, def- the I was definitely firing up the people in the books. <laughs> definitely was. And I always wanted to get in the book too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bro, this shit look loud. They turn it up over here. <laughs> All right, they playing now. Y'all fucking up like so I ain't editing shit out. That's Ross and Malisha. <laughs> 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 Y'all fucking up so hard. 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 Y'all fucking up so but nah, man, this has been a dope episode. Look, I love, yeah. I love my Sikh communities. What is it, Sikhs or Sikhs? What they call them? The Sikhs, right? Anyway, tell me, I don't got my army here right now, so I ain't. Yeah, he said I ain't got my army. <laughs> I ain't got my army here. I'm gonna stop talking. I love, I love, I love the Indian tradition. Y'all food be banging. I'm just saying. And I, 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 yeah, I need to try some Indian food, man. <gasps> yeah, I don't think I ever have. have Already, what? But we ain't on that right now. Have, yeah, we have. Have you been to? Uh, Aisha house. Then she she had some Indian food before. I don't think I ate Indian for food though. So Ross, Indian food is huh? Ross so didn't know good, Ross didn't know he was eating. This is this he thought it was chicken his goat hooves. <laughs> <laughs> Ross that ate a whole lamb ass and didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker delicious. Right, hell is this? <laughs> Roast beef, it's good. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, t- it's tender. It's tender. <laughs> Ah, damn, what y'all put on this? Got a nice little seasoning to it. Okay, real tender. 
Y'all got some bread? <laughs> Y'all got some bread. Oh, that's a nigga oh, always gonna hit that. Y'all got some bread. Get some sauce and some bread. Right. Yeah, I got Bro, some hot sauce and some that's bread. That's the best sauce. That's the best sauce. Goat's blood. Goat's blood. Oh. Goat's blood. Oh. Goat's blood. oh. Goat's blood. oh. That's crazy. They cooked? <laughs> that's the sauce. <laughs> that's the sauce. The secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up, bro. Hey, y'all, look. Y'all are messed I, up. <laughs> Yeah, y'all making jokes about that. Y'all know y'all didn't fucking probably ate some cat or some dog or something that Timmy Chan's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I done oh, had a few sure. uh, pit bulls sure. in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I done had a couple of terriers now. I ain't yeah. even yeah. fruit strays. You know, I'm, what happened, I'm fine to, with it. happened to Roscoe, man? <laughs> you didn't see Mr. Whiskers uh, straight cat around this bitch? That nigga ain't there no more? They uh, turned that nigga to a wing, then. <laughs> they must have. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> no, you ain't. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Them, but that motherfucker Timmy Chan, bro, like boy, that boy, that be hitting. Them wings, Blessings, bro. The line yeah. still be long, bro. Still be long. Hey, you yeah, bro. Bro. only pay cash. The line That's still bullshit, be long, bro. bro. Like, I be talking to. I last year, the I think I went to Burger Park last year, a couple years ago. I took Nisha. Them niggas still had the little cash only sign. I was like, "Come on, lady, for real, we still doing this?" <laughs> yep. Now they old school with it. And I wanted it so bad, I had to go down the street and get some cash. At an 18 you, 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 at a you gonna do what you gotta do. You gonna do it. You, you gonna, gonna do, do it, it. For, for some Burger Park and, and Timmy Chin, the yeah. original, the one on color. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The original. Still be the niggas that you know too, the original. We the original. We, we started first. this shit. I still be packed. I passed by the other day, bro. Line. Packed. So it ain't it ain't Chimmy no more. It's, it's Timmy now. That's what we doing. We bougie now. <laughs> bougie. <laughs> Y'all niggas bougie, bro. That's that's all you I know. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm Chimmy all my life. Jimmy. I don't even play with you right now, dog. Stupid, bro. Jimmy, like, what's up? Is, is the tea like? Is it a high tea solid? Or something? <laughs> bro. A solid C H. Yeah, I'm stupid. That hoe is Chimmy for the longest. Yeah. Why yeah. did I used to call it that shit when I was a kid, bro? Everybody did. That's, that's, that's what everybody said. Hey, everybody said. Chimmy Chan. They should have changed the name. Chimmy Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Some black shit for you. We didn't feel like putting <laughs> emphasis on a damn T. T, so man. Said Chimmy Chan. Yeah, yeah, man, man. I went to that Chimmy Chan's last night. Yeah, for real, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, see it, man. It's all right. It's all right. Like, everybody know what you're talking right. about. And nobody going to correct right. you. Like, it's the gotta, one you place. Be from here. It's the one place. I I think it was on, if y'all remember that segment, Slime in the Ice Machine. I think it was Slime on there at, the one, at one point. Yeah, yeah, with Marvin Zindler, yeah. Eyewitness people, news. People don't put Damn. respect on how Marvin Zindler would go. R.I.P. Marvin Zindler, bro. That nigga was white every with, them them blue, with, them blue, with them glasses? With them blue glasses? Them glasses? Them tinted boy. With the white hair slick back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they was Marvin Zindler, right? Hey. Yeah, he was. Marvin Zindler was a pimp. You want to tell me why your inspection sticker says a uh, No, no, no. They, be, they in the camera. No, no, no. Yeah, trying to get off their shit. <laughs> and he, look, that be zooming in on the roaches. <laughs> and I believe, I, I believe. Look at it! Look, look at it! I zoom on the chance was oh, on one of the segments, and they found like a rat in the establishment. Yeah. But it was one of those things where niggas still went. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was it was too bro, much invested in the hood. Didn't nobody there, care, bro. Yeah. Nobody like, care. We know them niggas nasty. Like, we was we was too we was too far from Frenchies. In, that's how people in Atlanta feel about uh uh Waffle House. Oh, they bro. love hoes. I do not like Waffle House. I don't know what it is, bro. Oh, you yeah, we went that one time. I've like, had it twice, it. and I don't really care okay. for it. But I keep laughing at the meme because I think when we went, I was drunk, and that meme of that that lady. Um, what's that lady that they keep fucking with with the short hair? The, the mayor of uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So they was talking about this how you yeah. look, looking at the person making your food at Waffle House yeah, at two in the morning, and she throws them. Oh, <laughs> it's the truth. These niggas it's are the stupid. truth. Cause you do be in there mud just watching them make your shit like. <laughs> yeah, put them in. Bro, it's if you go to Waffle House. Here, you go to Waffle House. There's a nigga that just got out, man, from doing five to ten, and then I. And he cooking yeah. your shit. He's scrambling yeah. your eggs. And he's still Somebody borderline. Face tattoos, everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, go home. He, got the, he, he got the backwoods back here, just chilling and waiting. <laughs> yeah, you, got said, you said you want what? <laughs> 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 Take a smoke. 
Like, this is nigga just puff into my eggs. Right, nigga. Eat this shit. You said you want to fuck out, right? I'm eating it. Don't kill me. You said gonna eat this shit. But it's the black. You drop weed on my pancakes? That's parsley, yeah. nigga. Parsley. No, nah, that's that's basil. It's parsley. <laughs> Not basil. The blackest shit in the world is when your barber takes a smoke break in the middle of your haircut. That is the Bro. blackest shit in the world. That's the you, hit the turn, shit. you hit the turn to look at your shit in the middle. Yeah, no, no, no. You gotta you gotta do your feet because you're too high. So yeah. Gotta, <laughs> a little buzzing ass turn. Like a little punk. My barber told me, they, my barber tell me I be skating. He, there he go skating again. I'm like, you where you go walking off again, nigga? You always gotta come. <laughs> but something to do outside. Don't let it be a Friday night. I live. I, I go. Oh, well, I used to go God. to one you of the barbers. All Them all you see is niggas coming outside with white cups because it's a liquor store right next door. Mm-hmm. So right. niggas got their white cups with ice, <laughs> and they ready. They just pouring up their little brown bag, and I'm like, oh shit, let me hurry up get my cut, bro. I don't know what it's about to turn into. <laughs> This parking lot about to turn into They're about Carrington. to be there all night. Like, mm-hmm. chill. about to be a Carrington's parking lot out here at the barbershop. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, they, they itching to get back to that moment. They, yeah. they already was. Yeah, they was. Um, that was, that was they a couple was weeks ago. That hoe was. Packed. Oh, really? Bro, and I was like, bro, these, it really kind of like, I said, bro, niggas just. I expect Park too. Niggas can't wait till they mm-hmm. die. Oh, they said niggas can't <laughs> wait till they die. Nick Carrington's <laughs> was packed, die. bro. I'm talking about the oh, line was like how it would be on like, a for the All Star weekend. weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all, the mayor started putting up the wall of shame at the city hall, bro. When yeah. I tell you I'm in full blown tears, mm-hmm. you go to that hall and you walk in there. It literally every week it got about week, <laughs> week Damn. by week. <laughs> Who you know, did what? And then you know he don't go, don't stop there. He put it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, like all his platforms. The wall of that's shame. The, that's he the only he way it works. The wall of shame. That's the only mm-hmm. way it works because wow. nobody going to the city council. You better put it on right. some niggas. Ain't nobody gonna see that bullshit ass right. wall at the city hall. <laughs> you see that bullshit ass wall. Who going to the city hall <laughs> on a Monday? Let me just go to the city hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Arrest them. Establishment. Niggas scared to go downtown. <laughs> kind of weird. Hey, you know that's a that's a, you know that's a ticket waiting on your ass. That's right a there. downtown is a trap, nigga, because you could be going the wrong way and don't even know it. Mm-hmm. As soon as you as soon as you go to whoop 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 whoop, whoop got your ass, got your ass. You look confused. I I definitely did that shit <laughs> this it? morning on accident. <laughs> nah, that shit that shit be don't come don't let it be a club night. Oh, oh yeah, no. where the no. fuck you going, bro? And yeah. don't let it be a night to where there ain't no cars out there. So you ain't you mm-hmm. can't follow nobody. So mm-hmm. yo, you gotta read. I still use my GPS when I go downtown. Me too. I, you have to. You have to, <laughs> nigga. I, you have have to, bro. I know how to get there, but I do not know how to get out that motherfucker. Like to get no, out of way. To, bro. Because <laughs> one day this street closed, one day this one open, and I'll be thinking this is a, a one way and it's bro, like, them, nah, them one ways be messing me up, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do like when all the lights turn the ch- same color. Kind of make you think of like uh, Bruce Fast Almighty. Fast Furious, that bitch. Yeah, but I was yeah, yeah. At, a, at a normal speed limit. <laughs> at a normal speed limit. Because <laughs> they got your ass down there. Yeah. But, um, but nah, man, yeah, this this was a dope episode, man. I, I appreciated the energy and um, the, the conversation that we had. This is a lot of discussions and topics uh, that we need to hit on more often to keep pushing uh, people to educate themselves on matters. We can all have fun. But um, mm-hmm. it's a time and a place for everything. And right now, it's time to really get on the ball game with with things uh-huh. going on. Go vote, people. Facts. Uh, stop, stop just saying fuck it. Actually, use your vote. Um, not, not just on presidency. We get it. That's like the big ball game. But <laughs> you need to vote locally. All these little videos and stuff happening with police and like things that need to happen with police reform and stuff like that. That happens when you vote for the officials and people locally around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, educate yourselves. Figure out who's who, who's in there, and um, your state and all that, man. We gotta, we gotta start. We gotta stop talking and put action uh, to what we want to happen instead of waiting until injustice happen and there's nothing that's happening for it. Like uh, right. the whole Breonna Taylor situation, it it just boggles me every day that um <clears throat> people are able to just go home to their family when they bust in somebody else's house while they were sleeping peacefully. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sick of people saying, 
Just comply when you don't have to be doing anything to get shot. Comply, don't die. Yeah, like you don't have to be doing anything at all to get shot, to get murdered. You could be. Oh, that was a thing. No, nah, facts. <clears throat> they 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 have this thing where they feel like we so, we get so aggressive just to comply. But if before I wrap it up though, like if anybody know white people like I know, whenever there's anything going on, oh they gonna talk they shit. They gonna tell you who they know, what they not gonna mm-hmm. do, what their rights mm-hmm. are. But they have the they're comfortable in doing that because police is not gonna escalate with them. But as a black person, yeah. you can't be educated because as soon as you seem educated in black, you're a threat. He knows mm-hmm. too, he knows his rights. Let's get this nigga out of here. So um, everybody got to realize Black Lives Matter. Um, we love everybody, but we just want to be on an equal uh, playing field as everybody else. Don't I don't want equality. I want equity. Mm. I'm through yeah. with the bars. You just wrote <laughs> that You just wrote that in your phone? I see it. Hold oh. up. <laughs> you stupid. Hey, Google, she Googled like some shit off I'm the car, too. By my mixtape. She Googled an ending quote. Right. I'm dead. No, but on a serious note, y'all, y'all want real change in Harris County? Royce West, 2020, U.S. Senate. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. I thought you were about to say Royce the 5'9". Like, that nigga be spitting. No, yeah. no I wasn't going to say that. Royce West. So, Royce West. Okay. Royce West, 2020, U.S. Senate. He are, He's already a Texas senator right okay. now. So there are two um, in the Democrat uh, Democratic <laughs> Democratic Party, but you know one is obviously better than the other one. And Royce West is the guy. He he's the guy to get it done. He's the right. guy to get the job done. So many ways. Y'all want real change? Oh, by the way, let me drop a little bit of knowledge. Royce West was the person who got dash cams for Texas. He mm. was the one that pushed that. Okay. He was the one that made it happen. He is one of us. Okay. He wants real change. He wants to promote real, <clears throat> real change. And what better way to get him to the White House? So, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to say this real quick. Malisha, mm-hmm. I appreciate you so much for giving that tidbit because Actual. I just had this conversation uh, <clears throat> with my production team um, a couple weeks ago about that. I think what we need to start doing... Uh, and it starts with us, is Mm -hmm. to not only um, talk about voting, but actually educate each other on whom to vote for and why to vote for that person and actually give them the opportunity to go look that person up and see if their uh, ideals align with yours. Because it's one thing to tell everybody, hey, go vote, man, go vote, go vote. But a lot of these people, even though I put it on them because you really should be doing your own education. But it's like a lot of people really don't know who to vote for and why to yeah. vote for their candidate. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I want to thank you so much for uh, spending that time and taking that time to uh, give us that tidbit on Royce West. Yeah, nah, absolutely. I mean, you can also do your own research too, but I can guarantee you, you're not going to find a good, a better candidate than him. Fact and that's just, that's just what it is. You know, we all know that Texas is a red state. I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to get too political on y'all, but let's be real. Do you think red is never for us? And when I mean us, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's why I so, talk on the red mic so that I can talk down to it. So it can I, me. I bro, <laughs> cut it. Hard, so that, so that, that, that wasn't, that wasn't it. That wasn't I'm it. out. That wasn't I'm it, bro. Out. Come on, man. Let me know, I'm bro. Out. That was. Hey, hey, bars. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you feel me? I run this show. This my shit. This my shit. This run. <laughs> Stupid, man. But now, uh, like all series, no, that's dope. That's something that, um, again, like I was saying earlier, we need to do. Keep pushing each other to be educated. If you know something that somebody else may be able to find useful to go look up themselves, let's keep spreading that, man. Because um, we need to make something happen, and I'm ready for right. a little bit, bit of change. Been we can see it. Um, and 2020 is always people are always oh 2020 is but. 2020 really opening our eyes. Bro. Talk about 2020, but all the grass is getting cut and you seeing all the snakes that's really out there. So, mm. um, And for y'all young folks who thinking that like voting doesn't matter, bro, get out of that. If y'all really want to see change, I just dare y'all, I implore y'all to vote one time. Vote this one time and see if it don't make a difference. Right. See the numbers from the last, um, the last uh, election. And, and now, and see how much of your vote counts. Because you can see it by breakdown. Mm-hmm. Literally by generation, you can see it. 
So y'all want to make it? Y'all want y'all want to make a change? Y'all come out, show up in big numbers. Tell your friends. Tell your friends' friends. If you're not registered, go register. It's free. Like, mm -hmm. just go and do oh, it. It's free. Go and do it. It's like free. I tell niggas, bro, it's free. free. Hey, it's free. Let's vote how we did when Obama, Obama was getting in office. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But uh, yeah, episode twenty-seven, man. Again, we love you guys. Stay safe out there. Black Lives Matter. We always gonna represent that and do our part. Love y'all, man. Peace. Peace.